time. Shout outs to Farbanti. Shout outs to the Plastic Dinos. Shout outs to SPS when SPS feels like playing Claren. But I feel like I see this all the damn time. <laughs> yeah, and I've definitely been subjected to my fair share of it as well. This can be a very rough matchup for Claren a lot of the time. Yeah. Really hard for her to get in since Swole is faster on the ground and has bigger dish joints. Yay, but uh, Yay. I do think Claren in advantage, or at least when it comes to like getting kills and ledge trapping is a little more consistent than Sylv, <clears throat> um, which is kind of like the main saving grace. There's also the fact that she's faster in the air. So there's definitely ways to make Sylv struggle here and we're just seeing Zier to death right out the gate. Yeah, and Dr. Worm is kind of just on point today. Should also add, you know, again, pinned in, still no strong attacks here, so. While, um, That's right. Oh my god. So well, I, I think Claire normally is already more cons like a little more consistent at getting kills and self, but with no strong attacks on pin, and that leaves even less options for him. I'm uh, gonna have to really be focusing in on those aerial kill confirms that were not looking too great in the previous set we saw versus uh, I think Sunlust. Yeah, I mean, most of the conversions that Pinton got were uh, the, the the uppies, the the, the the spot dodge attack, as I call them. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't see that happen a whole ton with Dr. Worm here. Uh, Dr. Worm playing around the platforms very well. Yeah, and again, Pinton using how just a little bit too much. Like you see, it's just in the center stage. And I guess maybe counting on like Dr. Worm running into it and then Pinton can chase with an up air, but Dr. Worm, generally speaking, not giving it to him. Uh, good catch there with the jump, though. Yes, did have a little patch of grass, and uh, Dr. Worm was not ready for it. Oh, just barely catching with it. Ooh, great parry, though, on the pedal wave. Dr. Worm looking immaculate right now. All right, nice catch with that side special. Ooh, going with a double tipper. Finden, though, firing back with some damage of their own. Great back air. Just catching that uh, down air right out of the air. And, um... Beast dash into the how There we go! Now actually setting up the good pressure. Ooh, finds a tipper! Oh, and misses the up air conversion! Yeah, it's sent off stage anyway! Looking for the up air. I, I appreciate the attempt. Ooh, down strong? Crazy for that. Not there we the go, down strong tipper, and that's gonna be it. <laughs> all the strong attacks coming out from Dr. Worm. It's gonna be like... Look what I can do. You can't all, even all mimic the power. Almost taunting in a way. <laughs> Not that Dr. Worm, I, I assume, means anything by it. It's just kind of funny to me. Because <laughs> that, that last, those last 15 seconds is almost exclusively strong attacks. Um, but we're going to treetop for game number two. Um, I'm, I don't know how this stage works uh, for this matchup. I'm, I'm going to be real. I don't know if I'm vibing with it super hard. Mm. There's definitely merit to picking it as Sylph. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, Sylph can control like a greater percentage of the stage than pretty much any other character, which is kind of like, I think part of the reason why Sylph's like it. The thing is, again, I think one of the main strong points for Claren in this matchup is her edge guarding being pretty solid. So depending on the Sylv, depending on just how comfortable we feel here, I think this might not be too great. Especially because stuff like down tilt down air is going to kill Sylv, like, stupid early. That being said, again, a lot of Sylvs do like the Sage, so... Yeah, kind of hard to tell. Ooh, but we got a counter going on right now. Yeah, oh boy. Ooh, the fair. Pretty good fair. Um. Ooh, gets parried, and then a tipper F strong just to put some salt in the wound. Yeah, that was, again, very good spacing on these dashback F strongs. Um, Dr. Ryan's been playing it pretty much perfectly with this. Running in the up tilt though. Ooh. Okay, nice little string Ooh. here. No double dunk, but does go for it. Has a little bit of a lead, so not too dangerous as long as you don't. Ooh, 
The Exmos drop! Okay! Can you convert off of it? No, you run off the stage! No, but a valiant effort there. Oh, the parry was too early. Spot dodge attack! Spot dodge attack. Finds a tech, finds another tech, and doesn't get punished for it. Ooh, V stash. Yeah, not the room tech rolling into the V stash, but the uh, back air F strong. Very nice little uh, follow up right there. I take back air um, up strong is usually a little more consistent, but there's definitely merit to doing F strong instead. Ooh. Ooh, trying to get tricky with the recovery. Felt a little intimidated. Yeah, not entirely sure what happened, but I'll be that. Oh boy. Okay, now we're kind of seeing some of the, the struggle with this matchup is that Dr. Worm was struggling to get in. Pinda giving him the free uh, howl, though, again. Something you really need to be careful of with Silv, those howls can just turn into free parries for your opponent if you're not careful, and apparently so can the uppies. Parrying the spot dodge attack? I could never. Another parry on the uppies! Ooh, Ooh could not find the tipper up there to seal that stock. Ooh, charges that strong on the top platform! Find oh, the no, parry down here! It did not need to be a down air, that could have just been a side B, I think. Or at least a short hop down air. Short hop down air is really good for Claren and absolutely worth learning. Oh boy. Beautiful dash back F strong. And just like that, Dr. Worm, another game. Yeah, things were starting to slip out of his fingers just a little bit there, but thankfully able to keep it all together and take that game. And now Pinning going to be going to Blazing Hideout for game number three. We saw this in the last set. I think he did win on this stage, and I will say, I think this is a significantly better counter pick. Um, I like this one a lot. I think Claren sucks here, so. I do concur. I'm surprised that it was not banned. Well, the problem with Claren, that he got like four really bad stages, and he got three bans usually, so. Hey, you I can know. understand. I think usually Clarence will either leave this one or Frozen open. Personally, I tend to leave Frozen open the most, uh, sometimes Abyss. But, um, again, yeah, I hate I this stage. The there, there, there's a few, like, cheeser strats Clarence has on the stage. That's one of them right there. You do get Tipper Up on some of these platforms, but it's not something you can just, like, throw out, obviously, because the move is very slow and very punchable. What do you mean? Just keep throwing them out. It'll work eventually, right? Surely. Yeah. I mean, someone's got a, got a strong attack, right? Someone's got to do so it. So true. No, no, someone's got to push that yellow stick. Oh, another um, parry on that uh, spot dodge attack. Yeah. Ooh, and caught with the strongest move once again. There. Oh, and a good Ooh. grab. Beautiful there. Go back to stage and a little more damage on top of it. Super good edge guard. Super, like, yeah, low percent, you know, it can be hard to clear out that kill. Uh, you don't always have to. Just what you're doing right there is perfect. Yeah, fantastic. Full 87, 99%, 106%. Dr. Worm just keeps going and going. I'm trying to go something crazy there. Oh my lord. Don't know how to show. Yeah. Okay, getting a little greedy, but again, got a decent lead here. I just remember last game did almost slip out of your fingers, so. Up tilt with the poor DI is going to take the second stock and pinned it down to the tournament life here. Mm hmm. Hills chasing Pendant off stage. Force it to come back on with the upbeat kill. Finally taking one stock on this counter pick. Yeah. Yep, Good parry on the V-Stash. Honestly, kind of hard to parry that move because of how like weird the hitbox timing is. Hate that shit. But, um... Yeah, Pinion really struggling 
I'm gonna have to find a way to really quickly seal out this kill and uh... try to throw out the howl once again can't find the conversion still has a mountain to climb a stock after this one exactly yeah can't I mean... pin and do it we're seeing some good starter hits here, but not a lot of aerials coming out to really make these combos and these juggles happen. Uh, there's so much you can do with Silph's aerials, and we're not really seeing a whole lot of it. Nice parry, that's what you need so far, but no grass to go ahead and take the stock! There we go, off stage. Good chase. Could not find the kill though. Yeah, oh boy. Ooh, poor Dion, not fair. Oh no, the sweet spot. Baron Dang. recovers enough. Yeah, that's how be hitting at the perfect time for Dr. Worm and the perfectly wrong time for Pindon. We knocked him out at fifth. And I will say, I think the Pindon no strong is experiment. Definitely something I'm. Glad happened because that's been a really bad issue that Pindon's had for a while now. But just throwing out the F strongs. Mm -hmm. I think the big thing, like my big takeaway from this, is I think there were a lot of times where I would have loved to see some down strongs, and I don't remember how much Pindon would down strong, but just knowing how to like smartly weave that into your play would probably be really helpful, along with chasing better with your aerials and um, also some more like nair dare kinds of blenders on stage you don't really see a lot of that from pindon and yeah. that's one of the scariest ways 